Hey everybody, this is Chris, the Lower Slower Board Game, and tonight we are bringing you some more baseball. We are going to play Game 2 of the 1957 World Series between the New, uh, New York Yankees and Milwaukee Braves. This second game was uh, played in Yankee Stadium. Uh, starter was Lou Burdett for the Braves and Bobby Shantz for the Yankees. Let's go ahead and head on down to the table. We'll go over our starting lineups, and then we will... I'll play some baseballs uh, for the Braves. Uh, second baseman, Red Shane, uh, Shane Dean is leadoff. Johnny Logan shortstop batting second. Eddie Matthews, hot corner man, batting third. Hank Aaron, center fielder. He is cleanup. Joe Adcock, first bagger, is batting fifth. Andy Pofko, right field, is batting sixth. Wes Covington, left field, batting seventh. Del Crandall catcher batting eighth and uh, starting for the Braves is going to be Lou Burdett. He will bat ninth. Same lineup, accepting the pitcher as in game one. Little juggling around by uh, Casey Stengel here for the Yankees uh, in game two. Uh, the top looks pretty much the same. Hank Bauer, right fielder, leading off with Gil McDougald, shortstop batting second. The Mighty Mick batting third, playing straightaway center. Yogi Berra, catcher, is clean up. Ina Slaughter comes in to play tonight at left field. He'll bat fifth. Harry Simpson also taking first base duties. He'll bat in the sixth slot. Tony Kubek moving in to third base. He'll bat seventh. Jerry Coleman, second baseman, batting eighth. And on the hill, large and in charge for the Yankees. Bobby Shantz in real life. The Braves won this game 4-2. to two. So we are going to see... How it goes, Bobby Shantz is on the hill, as you can see. Red Shane Dean is ready to go with Logan and Matthews in the waiting. And here we go. Game two, first at bat. Red Shane Dean is set. Shantz with the pitch, five, nine, and that's a skinny single split. Missed it. Hard liner up the right side. Hit right at. Yeah, I know. I always forget one thing on top. And that was hit right at... Um, yeah, here we go. <laughs> hit right at Harry Simpson. First baseman. Uh, that is going to be one out. So that is one away. Johnny Logan now at the plate. Bobby Shantz is set to go. Here's the windup. The pitch. Four, seven... Uh, high on the split, that is going to be a double for Johnny Logan. Cruises into second with an extra base hit. Runner in scoring position here. One out top of the first. Game two of the 1957 World Series. The Yankees lead the series 1-0 with a 3-1 win in game one. Bobby Shantz is set. Delivers to Eddie Matthews. Three, four hard grounder chucked at first base. Uh, B, that is going to be a no problem to check Logan at second. And uh, Simpson just trots right on over and makes the old U3 unassisted play at first for the second out. Hank Aaron now. Hammer and Hank. Chance with the pitch. Five, eight. Fly ball to center field. Uh, not hit as deep as it originally looked. Mickey Mantle cruises underneath it, easily makes the catch. That's going to be out number three. Uh, no runs plated for the Braves. They do start with a hit in the top of the first. And uh, we are going to go to the Yankees. Damn the Yankees. Come here. There we go. Lou Burdett warming up with Del Crandall. Hank Bauer in the on-deck circle. Strides on out. Uh, he digs in. Burdett will face him, McDougald, and Mantle in this inning. Hank Bauer is set to go. Burdett. Here's the stretch. It's let it go three nine and that's going to be a fly ball to center field. Hank Aaron gets underneath it, puts up his mitt, and lets gravity do the rest. That is out number one. Gil McDougald shortstop for the Yankees. Burdett is set. Here comes the pitch three eleven. A hard liner down the uh, left side of the infield. Quebec 
No, Eddie Matthews, sorry, diving catch. Saves the extra base hit. That was hit hard. Matthews right at him. Um, able to make that catch. That's going to be two outs. Yeah, uh, Eddie Matthews was heat seeker on that one. He just got his glove on the ball. Uh, Mickey Mantle, two outs, bottom of the first. Lou Burdett for the Braves. It's going to be a 6-6 six, six. fly ball to left field. Mantle cranks this one. Enos Slot, uh, West Covington is going back close to the wall. Makes the catch out number three. One, two, three go the Yankees. And we're going to go to the top of the second inning. Right there's. Yeah, I think that's a little improvement with the uh, scoreboard there. Alrighty. A little easier to see at least where what the inning is, as long as I remember to do it. Top of the second. Bobby Shantz getting his warm-ups with Yogi Berra. He'll face 5-6-7, Adcock, Pofko, and Wes Covington. Alrighty. Here we goes. Here we goes. Do, do, do. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, chance is set. Pitch to Joe Adcock. 3 6, and Adcock works a walk. So, leadoff batter in the top of the second for the Braves is on base. Andy Popko comes to the plate. Bobby Chance is set. Gives a look over to Adcock. Not a threat to steal, just keeping him honest. 311 hard ground ball to second base. Uh, not a problem. Coleman is there, gets it to McDougald for the force on Adcock. Not enough time to get to first. Popko is going to reach on a fielder's choice. Uh, four, six. So one on, one out. Wes Covington comes to the plate. Seventh in the order. Del Crandall is on deck. There's the pitch from Chance. Five, nine. Hard grounder hit to shortstop. That's going to be McDougald. He is a two with a 20, and he gets the ball. He flips it over to Jerry Coleman. On to Harry Simpson for the 6-4-3 double play. And for those of you scoring at home, and if you're not scoring at home, you should be. That is going to be end of the top of the second inning. Uh, no runs scored. We go to the bottom of the bracket. Oh, don't thump. And Lou Burdett comes out. He is going to be facing Yogi Berra, Enos Slaughter, and uh, Harry Simpson here in the bottom of the second inning. Burdett is warmed up. Yogi Berra steps in. Here's the windup. There's the pitch. And that's going to be move it down here so we can all see what all the dice are. Four. Four. Pops it up in the center of the infield. Uh, Shendane is tracking in on it. Logan calls him off, has a better angle on it, and makes the play the shortstop does for out number one. That's going to give us Enos Slaughter. Digs in, squares away. Burdett gets the signs. He'll wind up. Here's the pitch. 3-3. Three, three. Hard liner up the middle. Diving catch by Shane Dean. Uh, that is going to be out number two. Great play on that one. Uh, Harry Simpson, first baseman. Two outs. 270 batter in 1957. Lou Burdett is set. Here comes the pitch. 3-10. Low on the split, just misses it, but it is a base hit, a single to extend the inning for the Yankees. Brings up Tony Kubek, playing the hot corner tonight. Burdett looking to retire the Yankees. Here we go with a 4-9, a base hit for Kubek. Um, and they are going to hold Simpson at second. 1-14, to don't want to risk it. Coleman could get somebody in from second base. Two runners in scoring position for the Yankees. Bottom of the second inning here in Game 2 of the 1957 World Series. Pitch from Burdett. And that is going to walk to load the bases. 
but that is going to bring up Bobby Shantz, starting pitcher. Uh, nothing to do. <laughs> Shantz has got a bat. Here we go. Three, five, and that's going to be a, hard, a weak ground ball chopped to Johnny Logan. Logan has no problem fielding that. Flips it to Red Shane Dean for the force at second. Uh, fielder's choice, we'll call it. End of the inning. Two hits for the Yankees, but they don't play any runs. We are scoreless after two. Da-da-da. Move over to the third inning right there. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Bobby Shantz is going to face uh, Del Crandall. Lou Burdett, and back to the top of the order for uh, Red Shane Dean here in the top of the third. Again, your uh, score in game one was New York Yankees three. I know it was. Uh, Yankees three. Uh, Milwaukee Braves one. So the Braves are looking to even up the series here in Yankee Stadium before heading back to Milwaukee. The chance is set. Crandall awaits the pitch. Five, four, hard ground ball hit to third base. That's going to be Quebec. He's a four with a 14. And uh, errant throw, that's going to bring Simpson off the bag. Crandall's going to reach with an error. E5. Five. Boffo Quebec. Bad Quebec. Alrighty. Fix that real quick. Runner on first. One out. That's going to bring Lou Burdett, and he is going to try to move Crandall over with a seven. He lays down the bunt down the first baseline. Um, charging in as Harry Simpson gets it to Jerry Coleman covering. Um, so they do get the sacrifice to work perfectly. That's a three, four, and that is going to move Crandall to second base. One out, runner in scoring position. Back to the top of the order, Red Shane Dean comes up to the plate. Bobby Shantz is set. Here comes the pitch. Five, nine, hard ground ball hit to shortstop. That's going to be Gil McDougal, two with a seven. Fields it, scoops it up. He is able to check Crandall at second on to Simpson for out number two. Six, three, ground ball. And that's going to bring up Johnny Logan. Yeah, I just realized what I'm doing. You might want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never make a mistake in my baseball game videos. <laughs> so there you have reached on E5, 3-4 sack, move Crandall over, 6-3 ground ball, checking Crandall at second, two outs, Johnny Logan to the plate, chance. Fires, two, eight, hard grounder, chopped a third, easy play for Quebec, gets on it, uh, fires it over to Simpson for out number three. Much ado about nothing for the Braves in the top of the third. Do to do. Alrighty. Do this while I'm thinking of it. Alright, we have Lou Burdett warming up with Crandall. He is back to the top of the order for the Yankees in the bottom of the third inning. He'll face Bauer, McDougald, and Mantle. All right, here we go. Bauer flew out to center his first time up facing Lou Burdett. Lou Burdett has given up two hits and a walk so far, but no runs. Here comes the pitch, 4-9, and that is a leadoff base hit in the bottom of the third for Hank Bauer. All right, that's going to bring up Gil McDougald. He uh, lined out his last time up, Burdett. With the pitch, 6-8, and that's going to be low on the split. That's going to be a base hit into right field. Bauer rounding second, and he gets to third, no problem. Runners at the corners with nobody out for the Yankees. Mickey Mantle steps to the plate. <sighs> Got to walk him. Okay. 
bases loaded. And that's going to bring Yogi Berra up. Um, come on, cards. There we go. Berra, 251 batter. They're going to play infield in. Infield in. Uh, five, two, hard ground ball back to the box. Lou Burdett. Um, bases loaded. B, it's right there. Um, follow the rules stated above. Batter safe runner on third out at home. So Burdett takes it to um, Del Crandall. One, two out on Bauer. Fielder's choice for Barra, and uh, the infield is back to regular double play depth for Enos Slaughter, hoping to get that low ground ball, stay out of the two column. Here comes the pitch for Burdett, six, four, hard grounder, hit to short. Johnny Logan is a two with a ten, fields it, gets it to Shane, uh, Shane Dean, and on to Joe Adcock for the six, four, three, doubling up Barra, and the Braves get out of a huge mess with a very potent baseball team. Uh, scoreless. We're going to go to the fourth. Do to do. Wow. Walking Mantle paid off that time. Load those bases with nobody out. Oh, man. That was very, very fortunate for the Braves. Here we go to the top of the fourth inning. Bobby Shantz come out. He'll face the heart of the order. Eddie Matthews, Hank Aaron, Joe Adcock. Eddie Matthews um, grounded to first his last time up. Bobby Shantz is set. Here comes the pitch. That's a 1-2. Pops it up behind the plate. Yogi Berra out of his squat, chasing it back to the net. Makes the catch. That's one away in the top of the fourth. Brings up Hank Aaron. Uh, Aaron flew to center his last time up. Chance is set. Gets a sign from Barra. Here's a windup. The pitch. And that's going to be a 2-6. We need that D-20. Where is it? There you are. It's not a 20. That's a long fly ball. That one is back. It is going. It is going. It is gone. Out of here, Hank Aaron. Draws first blood with a solo shot in the fourth. And that is going to put the Braves up. one nothing. We'll fix everything here in a moment just to make sure we got all that stuff right. But one nothing is your score. Uh, one out. Joe Adcock to the plate. Bobby Shantz trying to shake it off. Trying to ignore Casey Stengel doing the Macarena in the Yankees dugout. 5-5, five, five. and he comes back on Adcock with a strikeout. That's his first of the game. Two down, and that's going to bring up uh, Andy Pofko, who reached on fielder's choice. Um, back in the second inning, chance is set. Here comes the pitch to Pofko. That's going to be a 6-9, low on the split. Uh, weak line ball looped over to first base right at uh, Simpson, he's able to make the catch for out number three. Uh, but the Braves are on the board here on the top of the fourth. Uh, total of two hits, yep, and one, two. Total of four hit. Oh, four hits for the Yankees. Ah, I knew I was missing something. There we go. All right, we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth inning. One nothing ball game here in game two. He will be up next. For reference sake. Game one. New York. Three. Milwaukee. One. So New York is one and O. Oh, Milwaukee's O oh and one in this series. Bottom of the fourth. Lou Burdett. Warming up with Crandall, getting ready to face the bottom of the Yankees' order. And that's going to be Harry Simpson, Tony Kubek, and Jerry Coleman. Simpson is set here. one nothing ball game. Braves have the lead for the moment. Burdett is set, and he pitches to Simpson. It's going to be a 2-8, and that's a strikeout. Burdett's first. 
Tony Kubek now comes up to the plate, the hot corner man for this evening's game. Burdett winds up the pitch. One, four, fly ball to right field. This one is back. Andy Pofko gets underneath it, puts his glove up, makes the catch. That is going to be two away, and we're going to Jerry Coleman, second baseman, eighth in the order. Lou Burdett is set. Issued a walk to Coleman his last time up. And 2-5, and this time he returns to favor with a strikeout. Second of the inning, second of the game. 1-2-3, give the Yankees. We're going to go to the top of the fifth inning. Right there. Ew. 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 Bring it right down there, shall we? Bobby Shant near the bottom of the Braves order. He'll face 789, West Covington, Del Crandall, and Lou Burdett. Braves are up. 1-0 in game two, top of the fifth, trailing the series by a game. Yankees won the first game 3-1. Last night at Yankee Stadium. Here's the pitch to Wes Covington, and he opens things up with a single after grounding out his last time up. So the Braves have a base runner. Del Crandall to the plate. Bobby Shantz, 245 ERA in 1957. 11-5 was his record. Uh, struck out 72 and 173 innings pitched. Here's the pitch to Del Crandall. 1-9 hard ground ball hit to third base. Piece of cake for Quebec. Turns it over to Coleman, fires on to Simpson for the 5-4-3, and just like that, we are two down. No runs to show for it. That's going to bring up uh, pitcher Lou Burdett. Chance is set. He rocks. He fires. 6-5, and that's going to be a hard ground ball hit to second base. Jerry Coleman fields it easily, flops it on over to Simpson for out number three. So that is um, no runs, but one hit for the Braves here in the top of the fifth inning. And they have one, two, they have three hits. Sorry about that. Alrighty, we go to the bottom of the bracket. Yankees due up is going to be Bobby Shantz and back to the top for Hank Bauer and Gil McDougal. And if anyone gets on base, uh, the Mighty Mick will come up to face Lou Burdett. one nothing your score. Game two of the 1957 World Series. The Yankees lead the series 1-0 uh, on a 3-1 victory in game one last night. Lou Burdett is set to face Bobby Shantz to lead off the bottom of the fifth. The game is official. It just rained outside, but it's not raining at my table. Here's Burdett with a pitch to Shantz. Uh, six, nine, no stinking way. That is going to be a double for Bobby Shantz. Leads off with a double. Hank Bauer. You gotta love it when the pitchers help themselves. Hank Bauer is set. Runner on second. Burdett. Not sure what happened there. Two, nine. That is a double by Bauer. RBI double. Drives Shantz in. And the Yankees, just like that, tied up. None out. Runner still on second. Gil McDougald, shortstop. The pitch from Burdett, two, seven, and strikes him out. That's going to be swinging at the knee cheese for strikeout number two for Burdett. That is one away. Runner on second, and that brings up Mickey Mantle. Not going to intentionally walk him this time. Here comes the pitch. Five, seven, low on the split, but that is an RBI single for Mickey Mantle, and the Yankees take the lead. 2-1. Uh, let us go ahead and at least do this part. Bottom of the fifth. Your score is 2-1 Yankees here in the fifth inning. Uh, Mickey Mantle is on first. One out. Yogi Berra comes up to the plate. Uh, Mickey Mantle is going to um, think about not doing that. 112. No. One out. 
Why push it? Here's the pitch to Man uh, to Barra. Four, seven, low on the split. That's a line drive hit up the middle. Red Shane Dean is there. Easy play on that. No trouble. Only had to move a couple of steps back to get his glove on it. That is two away. Ina Slaughter comes to the plate, the left fielder for the Yankees in tonight's game. He's 0 for 2 with a line out and ground out into a double play. Burdett with the pitch. 6-5 hard ground ball hit to Johnny Logan, who is a 2 with an 11. Gets it over to Adcock. No problem for out number 3. However, the Yankees score 2 and take the lead with 1, 2, 3 hits. So we'll make that 7 total. And we're going to the 6th. Oh, goodness. Yankees, come back. Bobby Shantz, top of the order he will be facing. And Shane Dean, Logan, Matthews, and Aaron, if he should be called upon in this inning. Uh, you come here. Red Shane Dean digs in, squares off. Bobby Shantz is set, gets the signs from Barra. And here's the pitch. That's going to be a 4-9 fly ball to right field. Uh, Hank Bauer gets underneath that one. Makes the catch. It's the Hank Bauer Power Hour. All right, Johnny Logan shortstop. One away. He uh, has doubled and grounded out. That's going to be a 4-6 low on the split, but that is a base hit for Logan, so the Braves have a base runner. And not too shabby. Well, not a great base runner. No threat to steal. Not lighting the paths up, but Eddie Matthews might be able to knock him around. 32 homers and 292 batter in 1957. Decent fielding hot corner man. Chance with the pitch. 2-4. Hard ground ball hit to shortstop right at McDougald. Fires it over to Coleman. Makes the turn on to Simpson for the 6-4-3. And the Yankees get out of the inning. And we'll be coming to the plate at the bottom of the sixth. Uh, one hit for the Braves. Which will be four. Uh, your score is two to one, New York Yankees over the Milwaukee Braves. The Yankees already lead the series one nothing due to their 3-1 victory over the uh, Milwaukee Braves during Game 1 here at Yankee Stadium. Tonight's game is brought to you by Stratomatic, the maker of this fine game and others. If you're interested in computer games or cards and dice tabletop games for baseball, football, basketball, hockey, and other online offerings, definitely check them out at www.strat-o-matic.com. All right, here we go. Top of the sixth, and... Uh, Burdett is set to go against Simpson, Quebec, and Coleman. Bottom of the sixth, rather. I misspoke. That never happens. All right, Simpson is set. Burdett with the pitch. That's going to be a 5-3 hard ground ball hit to first. That's going to be at Adcock. He is a 3 with a 17 and is able to make the play to Burdett covering for out number one. All righty, Tony Kubek comes to the plate. Kubek so far has singled and flown to right. Bird out with the pitch, one, seven, hard grounder hit to first. This one right at Adcock, running towards first as he made the play. Steps on it for the easy second out. And Jerry Coleman, set to go, Burdett. Looking at Coleman, who uh, has reached safely on a walk and has been struck out. There's the pitch. 3-10 fly ball to center field. Hank Aaron on his horse. Hit high. Logan coming back out, as well as Shane Dean. Aaron calls them both off. Almost a collision in the outfield as Aaron makes a catch on the run for out number three. And that's 1-2-3 for the Yankees. We're going to go to the seventh inning. Right there. And Chance will be batting in the seventh. They do have a one-run lead. Let's see what happens in the top of the seventh inning here. 
Deer to deer. Uh, game three is going to be tomorrow night. Game four, the night after that, and five, six, and seven, if needed. I'm going to try to do it on a nightly basis. Hank Aaron leading off with Joe Adcock and Andy Pofko to follow. Chance is set. Facing Hank Aaron. Hammer and Hank so far has flown out. And a solo shot to momentarily take the lead back in the fourth. Chance. Looking to not repeat that at bat. Six, nine. Got a split. One, two is a single. That's going to be a line out down the first baseline. Easy play for Simpson for out number one. Takes the weak liner over towards the foul line. It's going to bring us to Joe Adcock, first baseman. He is 0 for 1 with a walk and a strikeout. Bobby Chance with a pitch. 1 8 strikeout again. That is going to be his second of the game. Second time he has punched Adcock's card. Uh, two down, top of the seventh. 2 1 Yankee lead. Game two of the World Series. Yankees up one game to nothing already. Pofco comes to the plate. Chance is set. Here comes the pitch. Six, seven. Pops it up weakly in the center of the infield. Jerry Coleman comes over, calls off Chance and McDougald, and makes the play of the pop-up. One, two, three, go the Braves. We're going to go to the bottom of the seventh at the old ball game. Alrighty. Um... Chance is carded with a late point of weakness, so there's no reason to take him out of the game. He's doing well. He's carded at an 8, can go 11. Um, let's leave him in there because he's pitching a pretty good game, as is um, Lou Verdette, his opponent. I mean, both have faced um, 24, 26 batters, 2-1 game. It's definitely doable to keep him in. Burdette facing Chance. Chance is going to bat. Two, three, and that's a single for Bobby Chance. He's two for three in this game. Reached on fielder's choice, doubled score to run, and now a single to lead off the bottom of the seventh inning. Lou Burdette. Unbelievable how Chance has just got his number in this game. Hank Bauer. Probably not going to be an RBI double, but let's find out what happens. He is 2 for 3 so far in this game. 6-5. That's going to be a ground ball hit to shortstop. Johnny Logan is a 2 with a 12. He is able to turn that over to Shane Dean at second to force Chance on to first to Adcock to get Bauer for the 6-4-3. So second verse, not quite same as the first. Two down, bottom of the seventh, one run lead for the Yankees, 2-1 here in game two of the 1957 World Series. Gil McDougald, shortstop, facing Lou Burdett. McDougald is one for three. 5-10 is the pitch. Hard grounder hit to third. Eddie Matthews is a two with a nine. Fires it over to Adcock for out number three. 5-3 five, three ground ball. Um, one hit for the Yankees in the bottom of the seventh. However, no runs plated. It's still a 2-1 ball game as we go to the 8th. Bobby Chance is going to be facing the bottom of the Braves battery in, Les in West Covington, Del Crandall. And we'll see if it's going to be Lou Burdett or not. Depends on how the two in front of him do. They may leave him in to pitch. But if they need the offense, I think they'll make the move. Wes Covington leading off, facing Bobby Chance. Covington so far is one for two in this game. Chance is set. Winds up. Here's the pitch. That is a 2-8, and that's going to be a strikeout. Chance third. One away. Del Crandall to the plate. Here's the pitch from Bobby Chance. 4-9 fly ball to right field. Hank Bauer gets underneath it. Uh, makes the stretch, makes the catch. That is two away, and Burdett is going to bat. Lou Burdett. Uh, here's the pitch. Six, eight, liner. Uh, just a weak line drive. Hit to third base right at Tony Kubek. Easily makes the play. Kind of grins in there to, uh, uh, to Lou Burdett. Like, <laughs> really? You thought you had me? Um, all in good humor, though. All in good humor. 
That's going to be nothing going on at all. Braves retired in order by Bobby Shantz. We go to, it was the bottom of the order, but we go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Braves are running out of time. Um, Burdett does come out, but he's facing the heart of the Bombers order in Mickey Mantle, Yogi Berra, Enos Slaughter. Country Slaughter. Mickey Mantle. Burdett. Mantle is one for two with an RBI single and a walk. Burdett looking to get him out. 2-5, and he does so. Strike out. That is Burdett's third. Catches Mantle swinging at the back door slider. Breaking ball. Uh, Yogi Berra with one out. Stands in as I drop the white die, but not too far. Uh, so far, Bear is 0 for 3 in this game. Burdett looking to get to the ninth and some runs. 5-5 five, five, fly ball to center field. Hank Aaron moving to his left. A little bit of a jog. Pofko comes in, but Aaron makes the catch easily for out number two. And that's going to bring us to Enos a Country Slaughter. 0 for 3. Two ground balls and a line out. Burdett. With the pitch, 2-9, high, low on the split, fly ball down the foul line. Is this going to stay fair? Chasing is Andy Pofko in the corner, makes the catch at the wall. Slaughter looking to make it a 3-1 ball game, but just did not quite have enough. Pofko was there to uh, help Burdett retire the side as we go to the ninth inning of this pitcher's duel and both of these guys are still in the game they are going deep in this game um chance has just gone through the order three times burdett has gone through the circuit only three and a half times so they haven't faced a lot of, of uh, batters yet uh, but chance facing the braves top of the order their battery is due up shane dean logan matthews if they have a run on hits, it's going to be Aaron Adcock. Um, but this is it. Top of the ninth. Braves need to make this happen right now. Bobby Shantz, we're going to look at the bullpen. Hold on just a moment. They could call on Bob Grimm in this instance, but I think they're going to let Bobby Shantz in. But Stengel's got a short leash on his starter. Red Shane Dean is set. Here we go. Starting the order for the fourth time. Top of the ninth. 2-1 ball game. Let's double check with one, two, three, four hits for the Braves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven hits. Really? Let's make sure. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Yep, okay, so the Yankees are out hitting the Braves. Uh, eight to two, outscoring, eight to four, outscoring them two to one. Red Shane Dean is set. One, seven, pops it up on the left side of the infield. Towering pop up. Tony Kubek gets underneath it and plays that pop up routinely and perfect. One away. Brings us Johnny Logan. Johnny Logan is two for three with a double and a single so far in this game. Bobby Shantz with the pitch. One, ten, pops it up on the in, uh, in the middle of the infield. McDougald and Coleman converging. Coleman calls off McDougald, makes the play. Final out of game two. Eddie Matthews comes to the plate. Picks up his shoulder facing Chance. Digs in a little bit. Chance gets the signs from Barra. Shakes off the first one. Likes the second one. McDougald out there at short. Quebec smacks his mid at third. Bobby Chance is set. Here comes the windup. Here's the pitch. 6-6. Six, six. Fly ball to left field. This one is deep. It is going way back. Enos Slaughter underneath it. Makes the catch at the wall for the third out. And that is the ball game, folks. The Yankees take a 2 0 lead here in the 1957 World Series. Uh, let's see exactly how everybody did. And here we go. Let's look at the Braves. Uh, final score, as you can see at the top of the screen, is uh, New York Yankees 2, Milwaukee Braves 1. See, so the Yankees are taking a 2 0 series here in the 1957 World Series.
Uh, this game was won in real life by the Braves, 4-2. to two. Uh, However, uh, not a lot of high spots for either team, really. Um, um, Johnny Logan was uh, 2 of 4 with a double. Uh, Your solo shot by Hank Aaron, that was all that the Braves had. That was all that they had. Um, Because they were held to four hits. Lou Burdett, he went eight innings for the loss. uh, Complete game. Um... Given up two earned runs on eight hits. Struck out four, walked two. Uh, let's look at the Yankees. A little bit more going on here. You have Hank Bauer, two for four, with a double and an RBI. And that RBI drove in Bobby Shantz. And there's really no reason to go any further. Uh, Bobby Shantz, complete game, nine innings for the win. Four hits allowed, one run. The solo shot by Aaron. Struck out three, walked one. Uh, Gave up the homer, but two for three at the plate with a double, a run scored, and a single. So that is going to be your MVP of this game, Bobby Shantz. Two Yankees starting pitchers are player of the game so far in the first two games of the 1957 World Series. So there you go. Can the Braves mount a comeback? We're going to Milwaukee. Are they going to be able to do anything about it? They've got three games there before they have to come back to the East Coast as long as they can stay alive in the series. Uh, Only time will tell. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I definitely enjoyed playing it. And um, yeah, stay tuned for game three. That'll come out tomorrow night. Thank you very much, everybody. And please keep on rolling. Hmm. Yeah.